Yo, what's going on, fellas? It's your boy Riffs, aka your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. But today, guys, we are back with another reaction video. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure you guys take your fucking vitamins. Take your vitamins every day. I don't know why y'all aren't taking your vitamins. Why do I have my headphones on right now? But make sure y'all take your vitamins. I'm always giving y'all health tips or I'm fucking y'all ass. <laughs> Nah, but for real, guys, um, we're back with another reaction video. This video was requested, um, by my boy. Um, he's been requesting it for quite a while now, and I've just been procrastinating on it a little bit. So I'm sorry for that. So I'm finally here to bring it to you guys. So today we will be we will be reacting to Sergeant Ducky. He said head Casey or some shit. So that is the video. I've never heard of Sergeant Ducky ever until this comment. So I don't know what I'm getting into. You guys, you might not know what you're getting into. You might know. Who knows? But um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, cause bro, we gotta get to a thousand subscribers some way, somehow. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I don't know why you haven't already. Do it for your boy. Put on that post notification bell, and that's really it. If not, y'all already know. I'm gonna have to beat y'all ass. I don't want to get up right now. I'm gonna have to beat y'all ass if y'all don't. So y'all pick. But anyways, um, let's get into the video. All right, so I'm assuming living with the boy, the head case, I'm assuming it's this video. So let's click it, full screen well, it, let's there. go. Don't worry, there's no sponsorship to interrupt this I've video. I've never the seen this, so we'll ask you let's see what it's about. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I have enemies who I like to annoy with my success, and I think that's a cause. Yeah, me too, so subscribe to me as well. One, great. Thanks. Right, so it was about 5 p.m. on a Friday. F was just in the door from work. I was enjoying a few days off, so naturally, I had just woken up, and PJ was... In his room. Hold on, hold room. on. Pause, 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 pause. Y'all see? The nigga got a duck with his legs open in the back. The nigga got something right here. I'm assuming that's where he nuts in. <laughs> then he got the tissues. And I guess that's the lotion, bro. Yo. Ridge. So it was just another Aye. day at the boys' house. Well, not completely normal. See, Let's it was see. rent day the day previous. So we were all rather predictably flat broke. So we were broke as hell. For just a like me. Exciting weekend. But while we were chatting and drinking tea in the kitchen, PJ gets a phone call. Well, lad. Oh, nice one. No better, lad. Nice one. Banners. So PJ explains that a friend of ours, Casey, said his parents were gone away for the weekend. Okay. And he wants to have a little bit of a house party. House we're party, baby? Away of women, but it's in the middle of nowhere, so we can be as loud as we like. We can stay tonight so nobody will have to play a taxi for everyone. And drink will be provided. To treat okay, drinks on deck. The weekend. This sounded like an all-expenses-paid weekend away. In Literally. Amsterdam. So we hit up Connor and Tony, and we all arrived out there that night. Connor, in his usual fashion, rocks up with a girl called Searsha. Yes, that is how it's spelt. Aren't Irish names fun? But unfortunately, was Irish, he wasn't yeah, offering sorry. this one up this time. This was a nut he wanted to crack himself. He'd been working on this case for a while, that. and he reckoned that tonight was the night he was going to okay. blow her hole wide open. Case, blow her case wide open, damn it. <laughs> so we rocked on into Casey's, and a man of his word he was, because we were greeted by a kitchen countertop that would put most bars to shame. There's mad drinks on that shit. Every spirit known to man. So with the tunes hopping and sauce in hand, we Hold on, I just realized, why don't these motherfuckers have arms? Like, off, and usual banter ensued. Jesus led you got like, that nigga's got no arms. Let a woman sit on that. She'll feel that tickle her sinuses. Ah, oh, thanks, man. But look at the wit of your weapon. After taking that on a gay Tuesday, me and the boys can walk both sides of the road at the same time. Ah, oh, okay. thanks, lad. You're so f***ing sweet. All right, PJ. You're up first. Okay, you got the car? Drifting? All right, the... Where are they? Okay. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ, Ducky. We you almost hit him, bro. Bro kill. This was bigger. This is important to me. I don't know, lad. I had to jump out of the way. All right. I'll go again, so... No! Big man with some drink in you, but you wouldn't say that to my face. Oh, you're three. Yo, that's how no. drunk people really be, though. Idea, do you? Let it go, lads. Ready to fight everybody, nah, bro. Him. I'll say it to your face, lad. Batman should have died at the end of The Dark Knight Rises, and the fact that he didn't was bullshit. You take that back. So the usual house yeah. party crack. A while later, we're all gathered in the kitchen, waiting on the bathroom, because apparently Tony has a bladder the size of a peanut, and seems uh -huh. to be in there every time any of us wants to use it. During this time, Casey decides to mix up a few drinks at the counter. Just okay, throw random mixing drinks and shit? Passing them around to see if he accidentally stumbles across the holy grail of cocktails. And you know what? The mad bastard only went and done it. He handed me a drink of God knows what. It was this horrible, murky brown color. That shit looks disgusting, bro. Or making my eyes water. But when I took a sip, 
It was delicious. Mm. I passed it around and everyone had a try and we all agreed it was top notch, but it was super strong. Apparently there was no mixers in it. It was just spirits watered down by more spirits, but it still went down very easily. Okay. So that scene as Casey that's invented cool. it and it was stupidly strong, we named the drink Head Casey. That's probably the name of the fucking video. I get it now. The head case. That should go straight to your mata. We all drank that pretty much exclusively for the rest of the night, and this got us very merry indeed. So at one point throughout the night, Connor had sealed the deal with okay, Sears. Okay, my and boy. The bedroom and locked the door. Given how sauced we all were at this point, that was probably a good call. But we did leave him alone long enough for him to get on with the job at hand, and then some boy busting the doonies down. But we are assholes. So when there was no sign of him rejoining the party after about an hour or so, we decided to put our heads together and think of some sort of way we could grab his attention and coax him back out of the room. Why don't, don't we just knock on the door and ask? Don't do that. No. That's just what he'd be expecting us to do. We could grab a load of food and stuff from the kitchen and throw it at the door, making a whole lot of noise and a completely unnecessary mess that I'll have to clean up in the morning on a very ill stomach. Casey, that is a completely ridiculous That's fucking idea. Horrible. That I think we can all agree on is the very thing we're going to be doing. Good job. So with that wow. decided, we grabbed a load of stuff from the kitchen and started pelting the bedroom door with him. There was all sorts being flung at it. Tomatoes, eggs, handfuls of flour. What the and is just sleeping? Can't draw. If it was a food item, it hit the door. As you'd imagine, since myself, PG and Hef wouldn't have to clean up after this session for like, what? So hard about well knock 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 yo you you up like you throw the food at the door really got into it in fact we were running back down to pick up the stuff that hadn't quite burst on the door the first time just so we that's junk that shit again. Bro. all is carefree is somebody throwing a sock into a linen basket but even with all that commotion connor and the woman didn't budge all we got Literally. through the door was a go away i'm plugged in so we decided to leave him alone grab boys in them and see how the last few hours of the session gathered in the living room now Here's where the night went from a grand session to one worth making a video okay. about. So as we were gathered in the living room, chatting and slowly starting to fade from the sauce, Tony yet again returns from the toilet. But this time he's standing in the doorway, breathing really deeply and looking all pale and sweaty. So we tried to see what's wrong. You all right, lad? You're looking a bit shook. I and what do you think crazy. Tony said next? Nothing, because he hit the floor and started having a full-blown fit. Or I think seizure, a or seizure bro. I don't know what you'd actually classify it as, but he wasn't conscious and he was shaking and convulsing and foaming at the mouth on the floor. So, as you do, we all panic and sober up in an instant. We run over to him, get him on his side, put something under him so he's not smacking his head off the floor, and try to talk to him. We don't really know what to do, in all honesty. Nobody, including right, him, had somebody. ever had a seizure around us before. And we didn't Why know got a dildo the fine, the fucking... or he was oh just about God. to kick off his mortal shoes. But as we were trying to figure out what was wrong and what we had to do, Hef comes running up to us. He had just been to the bathroom, and when he got in there, he spotted a particular type of residue on the bathroom. Man, the boy did so we go through Tony's pockets, and sure enough, what do we find? Only a little oh baggie of no, no snow. Well, this explains oh a lot. Oh my and god, even get bro. Any vibes off him all night. Hey, lad, we invented a new drink. Do you want to try it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. That'd be f***ing brilliant, lad. Grand, I'll grab you one. No, nothing comes to mind anywhere, lad. Well, this explained all his trips to the bathroom and his fit. So with him unconscious on the floor in the process of ODing unless we did something, we all knew what we had to do next. His f has been holding out on us. Get him. Keep it all to yourself. I am no! joking. No, we called an ambulance and explained to them what had happened over the phone and they were on the way there plus or minus some directions because, again, we were in the back arse of nowhere. Back of nowhere, bro. Than that before there was a knock on the door. We opened it to be greeted by paramedics and the guards. The That's fucking the police. Cops. Turns out, the if you mention narcotics when calling emergency services, the paramedics are accompanied by the popo. It's pretty obvious to us now, but it wasn't obvious to us then. I remember we were all pretty annoyed I'm by like it, the on yourselves. Paramedics are narcs. I thought you guys love drugs. Whose side are you on? So the paramedics pick up Tony and take him away to hospital, and the guards wander in to try and make sense of the goings on. Now, we were all in our early 20s, saucing it up in a house that we probably shouldn't be drinking in. Literally. My friend was passed out on the floor after taking something, and myself and PJ were drunkenly doing handbrake turns in our care earlier. So we all felt instantly guilty as f. So the guards gathered us all in the kitchen to ask us all some questions. After lighting Yo. us all up, he had noticed some white powder on the counter next to Hef. It wasn't really some though. It was a small mountain of it. That he is not small, boy. Sauce of it and demanded answers. So we told him the truth. It was spilled flour from the food shenanigans that happened earlier. And of course, he didn't believe a word of it. I'm not quite sure why though. I don't know where this guard thought a few 20 year olds from rural Ireland pulled the equivalent of what would have been a hundred thousand euro worth of hard narcotics out of. And we were all so blasé about it just to scatter it across the counter like we're waiting on f***ing Squidward to rail a lion. But he had his mind made up and demanded we do not touch it. 
We all just thought fair enough. If he wants to take it away and test it, by all means, it'll be one less thing for Casey to have to clean up in the morning. But after chatting with the guards a bit more, we realised something. Connor and Searsha were still locked in the bedroom and probably yeah, what are they absolutely doing? no idea on what's been happening. So we told the guards this and they left us in the kitchen and wandered down to the bedroom to get them. Now, we forgot that earlier we had been throwing food at the bedroom door. But we get a funny reminder when we hear the female guard down the hall. Oh, Jesus, the dirty animals are after getting sick all over the door. <laughs> this what? nearly killed us. But it kept getting better when the guards knocked on the door to get Connor out. Because Connor didn't think it was the guards. No, Connor thought it was us messing with him again. So when the guard knocked on the door and demanded that he open up, all he got back was, If you don't f*** off, I'm going to come out there and kick your heads in. So we were like, oh, shit. Oh. And ran down to tell Connor the story before he ended up getting himself arrested. Connor emerges from the room in a daze. No idea on what had happened after he'd gone in there earlier. The guards got us all back in the kitchen to continue the questioning. And suddenly, hit. his eyes widen and he shouts, Who did that? Pointing at the counter where the pile of flour was. Oh, yep, shit. I said was because it wasn't there now. Somebody had quietly wiped it off the counter and made us look as guilty as... The guard that was trying to be somewhat civil with us was no longer and he started grilling us, making us turn out our pockets, asking us 21 questions and so on. Eventually after coming to the realisation that whether we were telling the truth or not, they had no evidence and it was starting to get bright outside Literally. so they left. As well did Connor and Searsha no doubt we turn left the the homies. Madness, And we all sat a bit dazed in the living room, ironing out all the details. What happened to the bag of stuff we found on Tony? I tossed it. I just realised it was fucking ah, Searsha's clock within Speaking of which, yeah. what's the story with Tony? The paramedics said they're going to try their very best, but there's a strong chance he'll still be a box when he wakes up. Oh, Wait, better question. Which total numpty wiped the flower off the counter? I did. Why did you do that? You made us look even more suspect, you plank. I don't know, lad. They were suspicious and I was drunk, so I panicked. Hold on. I have a question I think we all need answering. Hello? Well, lad, we forgot to ask you something there before you left. What? How was she? Go on, lad. Spill the beans. How was she? Is she walking all right? Did you give her the Connor Pounder and cheese? Oh, she was good, yeah. Well, hey! hey. Yes, sir! We bumped into Tony when we were out, and he told us that when he came to in the hospital, he just got up and left. But because it was four in the morning and his phone was dead, he couldn't get a lift and had to walk seven hours to get home. Can't That's really OD, say we were all bro. too upset, all things considered. But the biggest tragedy of that crazy night was when we were next talking to Casey. We were reminiscing about that night when he told us that he <sighs> he said he tried but he oh what did he do compose yourself lucky okay he said he tried but he can't remember how the head casey was made oh <laughs> Damn, my boy, you throw a bag like so that. that. another night about living with the boys that I hope you all got a kick out of. I do want to mention something, though. It was played for jokes here, but I genuinely nearly did hit one of the boys with my car that night. Once we sobered up the next day, we realized just how easily that could have gone way worse. Easily one of the stupidest things I've ever done in my life. So Hold just on. so you know, keep... Hello? Hello? Hello, Hello Lynn? Wrong one. Yeah, we see this why I don't this why I don't answer the phone. These niggas be bugging. Anyways, let's go back. Um <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Sorry for that little pause. Uh I'm not even gonna cut that. I'm gonna leave that in the video. Anyways, um this is um actually pretty good. Um, I'm assuming it's real stories from his actual life. Um I was thinking about doing storytelling with that, but I, I can't do animation stuff like that. it'll just be a video of me just sitting here talking to y'all and whatnot. But oh well, good story. Funny, I don't know why they had a bunch of dildos and shit. They just have mad shit in the background if y'all didn't notice. I don't know nothing about this guy. So, this is just new to me. Um, But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Living with the boys, that head Casey by Sergeant Ducky. Make sure you guys subscribe to him. Link will be down below. Um, But I, I will do more reactions to this if you guys want to. Let's see how this video does on my channel. Um, But like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, post notification bell. All of that good stuff. My boy, where'd my dog go? Y'all saw him in the background. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, your boy Rips is signed out. So I'm gonna see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. Man down, man down. You could get ran down, ran down. I got the bands now, bands now. She let me fuck, she a fan now. If you get hit, better stay down. Know they be broke, but they stay loud. We don't grow up from the same ground. They all the ground for the fame now.